Welcome back to CS Tech, I'm Claudio and in this video we're going to talk about a new product from Victron LG. Basically this is their new smart meter, this is their first smart meter, it has LAN connection, CAN connection and of course can be accessed remotely via Victron app. So let's get started. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way. Nice to have you here, so like I told you, today we're gonna talk about a new Victron Smart Meter. Let me open the box and let me show you what you can find inside when you order this new beauty. First of all, once you open the box, you will notice a small paper label, you have a QR code over here, just scan this code, and of course the app will uh, guide you to the Victron website, and from there you can download the user manual, and of course the installation manual. Please keep in mind, this is not a toy, this is a professional device and can be installed only by a professional personal, so if you plan to install it in your home, be very careful, and of course call an electrician in order to connect to a grid. You will work with high voltages, and of course can be dangerous and in the end you can also die so please very careful when you install this device now let's go back to unboxing let me show you we have here two man one two this one are can terminator i will explain you what you can do with them later and of course we have three ct because this smart meter it has a reading to ct and in the end let me show you the smart meter this is the new beauty from Victron Energy and of course it's very very small, can be installed correctly in your cabinet because it has a cabinet connection, can install on a DIN rail and of course let me put in the front and I'm gonna show you the connection. First of all you have over here you have the LAN. Basically you have two options to connect this one with your Victron environment. Let me bring here a Cherbo JX and let me explain how you can connect this to your Cherbo JX for example. First of all you can connect via LAN. Just power on the device and of course connect it to your LAN. Just put a network cable between here and your router and of course the device will pick up an address because it'll set, it's, it's already set an uh, automatic IP uh, pickup. Basically it's the DHTP, I don't know exactly how to pronounce in English, sorry for my English. Basically it's automatic, you just connect it and it will find and pick up an address. The second way that you connect is via CAN port. You can see over here you have two CAN ports and of course in your JX device you also have can, uh, two CAN ports. Why two? Because this device can act as a daisy chain. For example, you have an MPPT over here, you want to connect it via cable, all of them, just connect the cable between Cherbo, a smart meter, and from here you can go to uh, MPPT. For example, let's connect these two devices together, and over here, let's pretend this is the first device, this is the last device. You have this CAN termination because the CAN work in the loop. Once the loop is closed, the signal and the messages can run to do the CAN network. So, we need to close the loop, so basically, just close the loop and of course over here we can close the loop. Between them just use a normal network cable. So let's connect the network cable over here and connect it to the second port of the CAN port of the JX. And in this way you have a cable connection between these two devices. I recommend you and I recommend you to connect this device via CAN if you have the possibility. If the device is not near your JX device and for example it's already set in your feeding point and that it's 100 meter away, you just connect it via LAN cable because it's a pretty way to connect it. First, please keep in mind my device is already set up of around 30 meters uh, from my uh, JX device and of course I use a wireless connection between them. This device don't have a built-in wireless but I use an ubiquity antenna that pick up uh, Wi-Fi from my, my home and of course transform that Wi-Fi network to cable, cable network and of course is connected to this uh, Victron <laughs> device and in this way I have a Wi-Fi smart meter in my home and work pretty pretty well. But please keep in mind the network can fail because you just depend on your router. If your router is stable it's okay you will have a good connection but if the router will mix the addresses on have a lot of problems the network cable between them will be a problem so use the can instead okay now let's go back to to the front as you can see over here on the top you have a reset button once you read the manual you have the option to reset the, the smart meter and of course you have the option to reset to default to factory default for example if you do something wrong you can reset it without any problem on the bottom you have a high voltage connection because this device must be connected to your network uh, to your grid network in fact because he need to measure the amount of the voltage for example you have here 
uh, neutral you have phase one two three and of course earth protection please keep in mind this device can work in one phase and of course can work in three phases for example if you have a system that it's only one phase don't worry you can work with this device you can go into the app and set this set this device as a one phase device and just power the one phase and of course just use only one ct and connect it to l1 because in if you decide to work in one phase l1 is the principal basically if you want to uh, power on this device you must connect it to neutral and phase one don't connect two phases or three faces please be very careful when you install that is the reason i advise you to to call someone that is uh, already prepared to install this one so once you connect the basically come on let me show you in fact sorry i have here one face uh, cable please keep in mind we are doing this in the very safe environment so don't do it at home if you don't don't do don't know what to do Sorry again for my English, I'm not an active English speaker, I will try to explain in English technical stuff sometimes, it's very difficult to pronounce in my language, you are from Romania, and of course you have a channel in Romania. Okay, so we connect the line you have over here, as you can see, it's neutral and phase one, and in this way we connect to the uh, grid. So let's connect it. As you can see over here, the device is turned on, you have the green LED over here, if the uh, LED is uh, red, you have a problem. So you must connect with the app to see what that problem it is. So let's connect also one CT because in this way we have one CT. Another thing about CT, please keep in mind when you install multiple CT, for example, if you use this device in three phases, please keep in mind you must respect the phase rotation. So use the phase one, two and three. It's a must and you must put it in the same way. Also, if you connect on the bottom, phase one, one, one line one, phase two on line two, phase three on line three, please keep in mind also the, cheat, the CT must be connected on the same wire. For example, if you want to measure the L1, you just open this clip because it's very easy to clip and let's pretend this is the cable so you just connect it this way but please keep in mind connect it to the phase one if you want to measure the phase one don't connect it on three phases and mix this on the measurement cable because you have a misreading and you will say the device doesn't read correctly so phase one ct1 phase two ct2 and so on so now let's connect it to network because i don't have a jx device that it's already one over here I will uh, connect to LAN cable, for example, this one comes from my router, let's connect it, let's wait to see network, it's already have network, so let me open my phone because I want to show you also the Victron app, let's go to Victron connect app, we'll go to VRM, let me select my system, and of course, go to devices. As you can see over here, I have the smart meter already uh, on the top. You have the name, the name is very strange. VM stands for Victron uh, meter. 3P stands for three phases, but please keep in mind can work in one phase, can also work in three phase. 75 is the CT because I forgot to tell you this CT can read only 75 amps for phase. So it's a lot of amount of energy that can measure. I don't know if a normal house can read more than 20, 20, 30, 40 amps. But this one can read without any problem around 70 amps. If you plan to update and upgrade this CT, please keep in mind this uh, cannot be done. This is actually made specially for this one. It's calibrated for this one. So if you replace it, you have a misreading. So don't replace the CT. Now let's open the smart meter because it's in, it's in one phase. As you can see over here, I have the total power because nothing is going through this cable. I don't have any consumption, but I have some readings. For example, I have the frequency, I have the protect earth voltage because earth voltage is not connected over here it has the wrong value over here and of course i have the voltage in my home for example it's 227.8 volts the current and the power is not reading because the city it's empty now let's go to energy tab because you have energy tab and here you have the option to see the energy that was forwarded to you from your grid operator and the energy that was reversed for example you feed into the grid you have the total energy and of course you have energy for each phase now, if you want to reset, just hit the reset button and of course reset it. And in this way you can reset the entire counter. The second thing, basically the other things that you can do, let's hit the setup and you have here some option. First option is roll. Roll you can set up this as a grid meter, but let's move to the next thing because we're going to talk about phase number. For example, this one is connected to one phase. If you connect to three phases, in this way you must connect the 
three CT and also you put all the three phases over here. So let's go back to front of the, on the page. As you can see over here, I have phase one, phase two, phase three. And of course in the energy tab, I also have energy for each individual phase. Now let's go back to settings because we want to talk about roles. Roles, we have four options over here. First one, it's grid meter. Once you set grid meter, you must install this, you must install this as a feeding point. Basically the Victron will uh, mark this in the system as a, a feeding point grid meter. So the entire energy from the system will be measure from this one. So the next thing is PV inverter. For example, let's pretend you have another inverter. For example, you have a Huawei already installed in your system and you want to put the production from the Huawei in your Victron environment and also use the energy from Huawei to charge your Victron batteries. It's worked pretty well. Just install one of these on the output of the Huawei and of course declare it in the system as a PV inverter and Victron will know that we'll have another production source from your system and he will know what to do with that energy. Basically, when you install this, Victron don't have any control to that uh, environment, just measure the amount of the energy that is uh, be pushed from that system to Victron environment. The third option is generator. If you have a system that has generator, you want to install on one of these on the generator output in order to measure the amount of the energy that generate feed to your uh, system. And the last one it's AC load for example if you want to use a smart meter to measure a heat pump or charging or car charging station uh, it's worked pretty well just set an AC load and of course we'll measure the energy from the heat pump and let's hope in the new updates from Victron VRM we have more option to see for this smart meter. About options let me explain other thing because oh sorry go to settings uh, this device is an update type updatable device and of course we'll receive a lot uh, of firmware updates. Let me show you how you can update. Just hit the three points over here, go to product info, you have here two options, in fact three options. The first one is custom name, you can rename it. If it's a Huawei inverter for example, you can declare as a Huawei. If, uh, if it's a, a heating pump, you can declare as a heating pump and rename it. And of course, as you can see over here, you have the firmware. Basically in this way you can update. I don't have any update over here. But I still have uh, another thing to show you, it's about network. First, when you power on this device, it will go to automatically IP detection. Basically, if you connect to LAN uh, cable, it will automatically pick up uh, an IP from your router. But if you want to set up your manual address, for example, for example, if you have a very, very uh, strong list of IP, I recommend you to put a manual address because each time the JX device will know that on the specific IP is this smart meter. So in this way, he will not need to search any time anytime for, for smart meters. So this is the settings and this is the, the app. Now, let me explain you another thing because I keep this one for the end why you should install this one. First of all, it's pretty fast. Let me explain you. A normal smart meter can read two times, one time per second. Basically one second, one read, two second, two read. This one can read in one second, 10 times. Basically uh, in each 100 milliseconds he will read. So we have 10 readings in one second. This is a pretty fast way to read. And in this way, Victron will be more updated. And of course, we receive the exact amount of the energy that is going in or out from your network. So you will have a very, very clean consumption and energy measurement unit. The second thing is consumption, because when you add a, another device in your home, you need to have a consumption. So this device can uh, consume only 1.5 watts. So it's not a big deal in your system. Another thing that you must keep in mind, this device is rated to be installed indoors. So it's an IP20, so if you plan to install outdoor, don't worry. Just buy a cabinet outdoor that is rated to IP65 and install it inside. And please be very careful when you install it because you must uh, offer the rated. Please, the rating. Please keep in mind, it's indoor use only. If you plan to install outside, I repeat, install a cabinet that is rated to be installed uh, outside and inside you can put this smart meter without any problem because this one can work at a temperature around minus 25 and maximum 55 degrees. So it will be not a problem to work outside but in the separate cabinet. And in the last, please keep in mind, this device can work from 85 to 265 volts. AC, please keep in mind and set up your inverter to be lower from this value because if you have a high voltage, you will damage this device and the warranty doesn't cover this uh, kind of stuff. 
So this was my uh, review and of course uh, if you have any questions and if you want to ask us something don't hesitate write us in the comment area below. Uh, sorry again for my English I'm not a native English speaker we are from Romania we have a YouTube you have a YouTube channel in Romania we speak very well Romanian over there but we receive a lot of messages from you to make uh, videos in English so this is our English video for Victron News Smart Meter. So if you like this video and if you want to support just hit the bell hit the subscribe button hit the comment or uh, below and of course if you want to see in the next one share it with your friends. I'm Claudio from the CS Tech, thank you for watching and of course see you in the next one. Bye!